Hey y'all, what's up? So if today is Friday and the episode aired on Tuesday. I watched the episode on Wednesday, but I needed a couple days to process it and see some more clips of things to get pretty much like a well a well rounded opinion about certain topics. So I feel like I've done that. So let's get into the recap of episode two and some of my personal opinions. Alright, so I'm gonna just walk through the episode. <clears throat> the episode started off with them like putting out lookalikes and they were like, oh, this person looks like this. One one that really stuck out to me was when they said that Kirsten looks like Lisa and I was like, what? I mean, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Like, I guess, I mean, like, they have like the same smile, but that's it. Like, that was it. <laughs> like, okay. Next thing. Next was M Mina versus Leah. I hated everything about this battle. I literally was cringing the whole time as I was watching it. It was terrible. So basically with, with the whole beef, I, in, in the last recap, I was talking about it, but basically it was Mina, Mina and um, Leah were working on a project together and she wanted a higher draft pay for the work. She said that she didn't like sleep for over a week. And I feel like that was right on her part. But then um, Leah was like, um, if if I would have quoted that, it would have made us look bad. But I'm like, if she ain't getting no sleep, I do feel like you should have at least requested or at least like met it halfway. So I so I just see why Mina, Mina was mad. So I saw Mina with, with this part. Of course, I don't know all the details, but just based off like, like off the bat, I do feel like, Leah could have handled that situation better. <clears throat> um, the battle basically starts. Um, so they were having like their mints after the whole beef, and then um, Mina Mina started talking, and then Mina started talking about something, and then Amy for one million was like, "Shut up!" And then um, she and then Mina got mad, and I literally was joked out because Amy said, "Try try meditating." And I was there. <laughs> I was dead. I was like, I don't know she did not just say that. So I stand Amy just for that and period. And then the Mina I mean the um, battle was trash. Mina won. Um after after um they announced that she won, she said none of the other battles matter. And and I was like, be for real. And then um Monica was like Y'all, y'all, like, both y'all was just too emotional, and I was like, yeah, so, let's get off this battle, because I, I, I literally hated it so much. <laughs> Next after that, it was Ling versus Sarah. Um, the storyline for this battle was the battle of flexibility, and I was, like, really in that, like, they could just battle. It was terrible. Um... I I love them both. Like I really love Ling and I, I really love Sarah. That Ling Ling didn't do her big ones. She did say that 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 was her first battle. Understandable, but she really was a good sport and I, and I love that. Um, I would like I really love Sarah's part of the battle. Um, Sarah did end up winning. I liked it. That it it was pretty kumbaya, and that was a good battle. It was decent. Next was Minnie versus Akinem, and I love this battle. I wish that they would have showed more Wolflo and Tuba Kill. Um, in the last episode, they literally showed Momo battling, but they didn't show it in this episode. So I'm salty about that. But I got Minnie and Akinem. Um, So the storyline for this battle was Minnie basically called out Akinem talking about um, her hip hop dance skills. She said it was dull. And that was hilarious to me. Um, I put I put Minnie did her big one. Oh, Minnie also called Akin un uninspiring, and that literally had me in tears. So yeah, um, it was a good battle. They did do a rematch, which I don't feel like was needed. I feel like just based off the the first round, Minnie should have just won. Um, Akin did do good. She definitely held her own but many she was overall better so I didn't really like how they did a rematch and it's really getting on my nerves with the rematch Monica is starting to get on my nerves um I was happy for Monica to be a judge but now she's just giving me Boa vibes I'm like we got rid of Boa just to have another one 
So, whatever. And then we had the ace battle. It was, um, each, each crew chose an ace. Um, it was Waxy, Locker Z, Rena, Amy, Vessi, Kima, Kirsten, and Baby Sleep. And basically with this round of the battles, um, if you win, you steal two points from the team that you defeated. And if you lost, um, they, the team that beat you takes away two points from your team. So, look away, whatever. Um, the first battle that they showed was Baby Sleep versus Amy. This was my favorite battle. Mm, it's from the side. Okay, I like, I like the mini battle in, in Baby Sleep's um, battle this episode. But I love this one. Um, Amy, Amy held her own. Like, um, one million, I, I voiced my concerns about them not really being like, like a battle crew. But Amy, I feel like it's the strong one for that team. Do I think that one million will be saved if they were in danger? I don't think that. It definitely depends on the crew that they're going against. If they're going against Wolflow, I think they go home. If they're going against Tuba Kill, they're going home. The only crew that I can see that they can probably be is, is deep in that. Um, I'm not sure about Lady Bounce. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I love the Baby Sleek. I love her. Like, I, I'm a Baby Sleek stand now. Um, I feel like after this battle, I was like, I'm going to root for Wolf Flow. Um, they're not my number one, but they're definitely up there. So, yeah. Um, but this one I put, don't know why she got up. I don't know, yeah, cause, um, they were able to, like, choose who they battle. So, it was, so, it was Baby Sleep just, like, standing up there, and Amy was like, I'm gonna battle her. Don't think that was a smart call for her, um, at all. Um, it was a two to one. Shomu put it in one million's favor. I was really confused by that result. But I'm not gonna say too much about that. All right, the next. Um, battle was Kirsten versus Waxy. I really did not need to see another battle between them two. It's, I, I'm so irritated. Like, why did in that show, in total, four battles between these two? I really would have loved to see Locker Z battle, um, in this ace battle. I'm, I'm not sure who she battled, but I would have loved to seen it. But we got Kirsten and Waxy again, and it's, ugh. Um... I feel like Waxy was looking for an easy win, although she lost um, to, to Kirsten before. I feel like strategically she should have picked Locker Z or a Vessi. I don't know why she did that. Um, <clears throat> um, this battle, um, Kirsten had her stairs moment. Um, just giving me a whole remnants of Gabby from season one. I was like, it's just, I don't know, like, I get sick of hearing em em embarrassment. So, I really didn't personally like that part. I was like, mm, um, they got a rematch. I put Waxy should have won initially. I do think Waxy should have won this battle and the first one. Um, Waxy did end up winning, um, at, in the end, and... Yeah. And a little note that I put after this battle was I'm concerned about Jam Republic's battle equity. So um Kirsten, she's really good. But after seeing Ling, um, I still haven't seen Emma, but I but I get this sense that Emma really wouldn't be too good at battling. Um da -da 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 -da. who else did I bring for it? Oh, what's her name? <laughs> The younger one, the, um, 19, the one, the flexible one, the one that, y'all, y'all gonna hate me, but she did pretty good, I'm, girl, I'm into her name, um, uh, she did pretty good, um, Latrice, we didn't see her battle, but I thought Latrice would be pretty good, but I just put that little note there, I was like, okay, after this, I'm pretty concerned about their battle equity. Um, next was the crew battle, which we only seen one crew battle this episode, which I'm really disappointed by this because my favorite battles are the doubles and the crew, and we only got one. And it was between one million and Lady Bounce, and the storyline with this battle was Lady Bounce being basically like, "We've been a crew for 15 years. 
and we are known. So with this battle, I knew that it was going to go in, in, in Lady Bout's favor just based off the the little story that, that they showed in the beginning. But while watching this battle, I I don't know. It was pretty good. Like at first, I was like, "What million should have won?" But now it's kind of like toss up. So like I so like I do see why the judges voted for Lady Bounce. It's like in the middle for me. I like it. Like if I was a judge myself, I would have put put up two cards because I wouldn't be able to really choose between that. Boom. Um. Okay. So then we got the results for the um no respect. Um. Eighth place was Lady Bounce. They only won one battle. Um. Seventh place was one million. They were four to eleven. Tuba Kill was four to six. Deep and Dap was five to five. Jim Republic was six to six. Bebe was six to one. I was shook. Um, Mania Queen was eight to five, and Wolf Blow was twelve to one. Dang, then go ahead. What what battle did they lose? Hmm. Yeah, twelve to one. Okay, the next they show they um showed us the class mission basically what we're as viewers are gonna get ourselves into with this mission and I mean if you watched it before you know what the class mission is it's basically the groups are taken into class we have the leaders the sub leaders the middle and the rookies and um each person in the group has to choreograph and if you choreograph and if you choreo is chosen um. It's a good thing, but it doesn't like it's, it's not really a win. Um, you have to battle against everyone else, and someone can steal your choreography. And if they do better than you, they get to direct the video, and they have a lot of power. And one thing that I, that I really like that Ling Slayer said for Jira Public is that <clears throat> it was ranking versus winning. So basically, what what she said was. It doesn't matter if you win because if, if you're ranked high, that's still good for the group as a whole. So I really like that strategic standpoint on, on that. So I was like, yeah. Okay, and then um <laughs> for the class mission, they um showed us the first group, which was the leaders. The leaders were just talking crap the whole time. Mina Mino, um, they said that she got weaker for now. Um, she wasn't pointing her toes. Leah was messing up. Someone called her stiff. Um, I love Kirsten's and, ba and, and Beta's. Um, and then, um, by the whole, like, conversing. I, oh, girl. I'm trying to remember. I think it was Kirsten and Beta. Um, they were, like, like, like the final two. And people were leaning in Kirsten's favor, but then Mina was like, we need to be more strategic about this. We need to pick the choreography that we think that we can actually steal. And everyone else was like, oh, yeah, we should do that. I was like, y'all not on your Zoom. So, um, yeah. Um, and then it ended up being, oh, Y'all, I think I messed up. <laughs> I think it was um, Beta versus Akinen. Yeah, I don't think it was Kirsten. Y'all, Kirsten just lives my mind at three. Um, so, Beta ended up winning four to two. Akinen uh, was kicked out. I really love Akinen's um, choreo. So, that was like, I lost. But yeah, we'll see Beta. And I can't see her video. Next was the the rookie class. This one was hilarious to me to watch. Yinni Cho, um, like they were showing all their own choreography, and Yinni Cho, when um Gosu from Deep and Dad popped up, she was like, "I'd rather die than dance that choreography," and I was crying. And then Gosu was getting mad at everybody because apparently no one can dance, and I just loved it. <clears throat> Capri, she didn't finish her um, dance and she freestyled. Um, Capri ended up winning. So that was what, well, her choreography was chosen. She didn't win. Um, yeah, her, her, her choreography was chosen. I do feel like Rena should have, I, I feel like her choreography should have been chosen. It just seemed more together. 
Um, they figured that they could have taken Capri's choreography, which I don't know. Like the choreography to me was just very loose and weird. So I was like, I don't, I don't see why they did that. Um, and I put for a note, continuous deep in depth villain. So in this clip, it definitely showed me where Mnet is leaning towards um, who's going to be their villain this season. Deep in that is definitely going to be their villain. They painted Goso in like this bad way, which honestly, I just found it really hilarious because like, and like, at like points that she was mad, I see where she was coming from. Like when um, Capri was, was teaching the choreography, she couldn't like think of the steps. And she was like, what is going on? I'm like, girl, I would have been mad too. So I find it funny. You know, some, some people are gonna take that weird. So yeah, deep, deep in depth, I believe will be the villains for the season. Um, da -da -da -da. I took some notes while watching the other people's choreography. I put Emma. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I took notes while they were doing the um, dancing in front of the judges, while the judges were picking who was going to end up like winning and who was going to direct the um, video. I put Emma was eating, I put Goso was de devouring, and then <laughs> I put Bucky was forgettable, I put Reno won. And then the um, final four was Tatter, Bucky, Reno, Capri. Of course, they were the people that I was like, ooh, they ate. But Tatter actually kind of ate. Like, I went back and watched Tatter. She did really, really good. Bebe is really surprised me in this competition. Like, I did not think that Bebe would be, like, they would give a good run. But I see them making it far. I'm like, I'm not sure I found a four. But based off just, like, the first mission, they were third. They, they were, what, I believe six to one. That is really, really good. Um, Rena ended up winning. Lady Bounce really needed this because Lady Bounce was last place in the uh, mission. So they are in trouble. Um, they would have to bank on views, likes, and just get ranked high in um, this mission. So Lady Bounce might have to battle. I feel like Lady Bounce is going to have to probably battle. I don't know who you're going to have to battle, but yeah. Oh wait, they still have the um part switch mission. Hmm, I don't like that that one either. Oh yeah, they might still have to battle. Okay, next was the sub leader. The sub leader class was like intense. So the um, sub leader got a slower song, and it seemed like they all was like when like. Mm. Like the choreography, it just was like a mix between some some people being very sensual and some people just like dancing to the beat. Um, so they just were like critiquing each other. Red Lick and Biggie had got into it, and this was the funniest moment on the episode for me. Um, it was something along the lines. Um, Red Lick had said, Red Lick had said something like, "You wasn't trying," and then Biggie was like, "No." Like, <laughs> Biggie was like, are you serious? And they, like, stared at each other for, like, five minutes. And then she was like, so I stared at Biggie because of this. Because that was messy and catty and I loved it. Because Biggie was like, who are you talking to? So, Red Lake thing I got into, so, I got into it with somebody else. Um, it seemed like they didn't show the um the issue with, with Latrice and Red Lake. So... They edited that out. I read some opinions about this. Some people think think that they just were trying to say face for red leg. They said it wasn't villain editing, which I don't think because like she said what she said, but they didn't show it. So I was like, they they like like they knew they didn't want the show to be around that topic. So Trees ended up winning. Um, I'm not sure if I said, but her choreography was pit. And Monica called out red leg. She called out. She called red leg. Um. I'm unprofessional. Um, and yeah. Back to leader. They um they went back to the leaders. They were um dancing to see who's gonna get pit. Um I put Beta was scared. Beta was scared for her life because Kirsten was going hard. Um, not as fierce as Ricky. 
They had three auditions and Beta ended up winning ultimately. Which I don't know. Like I'm pretty up in the air. Like while watching the show, part of me wanted Beta to win because I just wanted to like I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, part of me wanted Beta to I mean I don't Jam Republic isn't going anywhere because they have the views and the likes. So Jam Jam like Jam Republic is in this competition for the longest time. Going to Maxi Jam Republic getting cut is at the end and they will have to be YGX. Like they would have to be like YGX, make it to the end, get cut, and, and it'll be in the, in the finale. So it don't really matter. And then they showed us the um, preview for the next episode. Pretty much it just was like the rank mission videos. And then they started talking about the card switch. And then someone is going home. They made it seem like someone was, was going to go home in the next episode. But I think it's the episode after the next. They can't get me. I don't think that someone is going home in the next episode. Um, so yeah. Um, my thoughts on, on this episode. It was like whatever. Um, I'm really disappointed that I didn't get to see more wolf no battles. I really want to, to see I have a list. Hold up. I really want to see Lockerzy, Momo, and Emma and Biggie battle, but evidently um, Lady Bounce lost all their battles, so I probably didn't want to see Biggie battle. She probably didn't, didn't went out there and didn't do her big one. Um, it seems like Emma is running with this Lady Bounce being an underdog theory or like storyline. So I feel like Lady Bounce is definitely a group that they are trying to push more out at us. Um, and I guess because Lady Bounce is like, I guess like the least known group, because every group in competition is like pretty known. Wolf Flow is it though. But they did the same thing to be to be. For some reason, like with these hip hop original groups, Mnet doesn't go out their way to like show them. And that's why so many people were mad when, when B2B made it to the end, because they were like, they almost went home twice, but they battled their way out of that seat though. So, yeah. That's episode two. Um, I can't wait for the, for the next episode. It's giving. I, I love this season. Um, yeah. Subscribe if you are interested in the recaps. Um, leave your opinions. I love seeing reading people's opinions about the episodes. And peace.